good morning to all of you and all the audience and the students this particular uh, view with respect to the biological cell and computer and here in view of computer what i refer that is it includes all computer as well as the electronic gadgets that is in a ai enabled and on the other side that is our biological cell and it is very interesting similarities and distinctive features between these two very important system cell is also defined as a system and computer is also defined as a system. so for the student and most of the beginners in biological science it is very important to have a very simple and defined comparison between these two system which is highly buzzword in both science computer as well as the biological science so today i will discuss some of the illustration and the points that mix both computer system and the biological system as a functional and structural unit why i'm using the word unit because it all the biological science student they know the cells are defined as a structural and functional unit on the other side computer system itself is a unit where the information data is processed and output is generated in the form of various information so my dear student and audience uh, let me to start one by one that is very interesting points first i will start with you know on the similarities or similar features between the biological cell as a system and computer system if you look at the annotation here all of us are aware that computer as a system they have their own uh, dimension their size physical size that is it can be even largest you can say centimeter or even less than that and up to the meters depending upon the types and on the other side biological cell on an average we say that is starting from 1 micron to the 100 micron size so there is a huge difference however both are defined as a unit or the system the second i would like to draw the attention that even in the computer as a system or the unit there are compartmentalization the different components are there like you no know, cpus are there hard disk are there and various other components and in our biological cell system again there is a compartment system i think biology i student they are aware like nucleus endoplasmic reticulum ribosome etc now we would like to go for another uh, similarities that in computer system all of us we know that central processing unit that is the brain of computer on on the other side biological cell they have their own brain of the cell that is as a nucleus computer they have their own operating system like windows and many more and biological cell they have their own operating system that is most conveniently is also like ribosome translational machinery is referred as operating system then another very important point is you know this system whether computer or biological they need the input they need the power so in case of computer if you look at that needs electrical source and if you look at the biological cell they also need the power sources in the form of various chemical structure it can be diet it can be drug it can be many more things computer system or the computer they need the operating instructions in the form of the code language etc so the biological cell they also need the op operating instructions like chemical signals mechanical signals and even many more different types of this then if you look at the computer in a very uh, simple view 
that computer, we know that they have the system of copy and paste of information and data. So the biological cell, they have their own established mechanism of copy and paste of information data and in most uh, versatile example we can quote like DNA replication or the uh, genomic content replication from one copy to the other. Then another been interesting point is if you look at the cursor here that is connectivity or networking of signaling. Yes, we know the computer and many more other uh, electronic gadgets, they are full of the powerful connectivity and network. Our biological cells are nothing less. In one single cell, they have the billions of nano dimension protein structures. And these nano dimension protein structure, either in the form of receptors or proteins or the enzymes, they serve the purpose of these type of networking or signaling. So there is a very huge similarities between these two systems. Another very interesting point, if you look at the computer, computers can be connected with or through the LAN, local area network. We know the LAN wires are connected. Similarly, our biological system, one cell is connected with other cell through the networking system. And that is the very good uh, similarities or understanding similarity between these two systems. Another very important you know, uh, comparison we can make that is wireless communication is there in electronic gadgets. So our biological cell is nothing less. They have their own mode of wireless communication, like you know, paracrine signaling, etc. Now I would like to go for another aspect of computer where we know very clearly that computers, they have the power to repair themselves or even by the help of external sources and troubleshooting also one of the feature of computer system our biological cell is nothing less so they have their own repair system they have their own troubleshooting system like you know i will quote the example if a cell like our skin cell is exposed to the uv radiation then damage is there so our cell they have their own inbuilt system sensing mechanism where the repair or the troubleshooting will be done until and unless cells are functional or in a normal condition. Another very important feature of computer we know that is to erase the data, to delete the data. However, we know that in any electronics gadget, computer or mobile, once the data is created or inf information is printed in a code or language, it cannot be deleted permanently. However, we say that we can delete to a certain extent, but permanently it cannot be deleted. Similarly, in our biological cell system, the data is generated or data is written in the form of chemical languages. It can be erased, it can be deleted, but at the same time, it cannot be permanently deleted from the biological system or biological cell. Another very important information is here, the computer has the power of to write, to read, and to record. So biological system, very recently uh, discovery and the data is coming up where the biological cell system, they have the power of various protein structure, various enzymes are in place to facilitate the power of to write, to read in our chromatin system, even in terms of epigenetic or epigenomic information. And more recently, there is also the concept of molecular recorders. Even uh, one of the paper from our lab, we proposed way back that there is the existence of molecular recorder within the biological system that can assist to record all the events within a biological system. Now, another very interesting point is you now all the AI enabled gadget system nowadays, we know that they are enabled to sense either emotional or mechanical. Even uh, very recently, there is a discovery of a uh, scheme that can feel, that can have same type of sensing mechanism like normal skin. That means the computer or the AI enabled technologies, they are going to have the power of sensing. Similarly, biological cells, they have their own power to sense environment, our surrounding, etc. Then another very interesting point is the uh, computer system, they have their own storage power. 
you know hard disk can vary at the temporary uh, storage system are there in our biological system that power of storage is there like you no know, chromatin itself is the storage of data and information already we know that you know that uh, i mean it's not highly confirmed but yes somewhere uh, i have gone through that in one human the whole total dna content in one single human can store the data or the information of whole ww uh, network system across the globe it's so powerful storage system also very recently when our lab we have proposed epigenomic hard drive or esd concepts in the biological system so these two these concept of storage it also connect the computer and biological system another very important to you know that is also very uh, buzzword that is computer is hang and freeze so our biological cell they have almost similar events or this, uh, the pattern of working where cell is also arrested in certain circumstances where cells are feeling stress under threat due to the environment and many more things computer we know that processing is one of the very uh, critical word without processing within the computer is nothing is going to be possible so our biological cell they have their own processing system whether dna is processed into the rna and the rna is going to be converted into the protein another very important uh, similarities we can draw here that computer sometimes we say dead biological cell is also dead due to the various environmental factors or even due to the programmed in nature oh yes the another very important movement or the motion so some of the ai enabled technologies even now they are able to achieve the movement or the motion in 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 their system and biological cell already we know that it is naturally blessed with the power of movement or motion another very important is you know the computers is under the threat of external viruses we know the virus computer virus but biological cell is also under the threat of external viruses already we know like coronaviruses or many more different types of viruses oh yes computer is having their own protection system immunity like an antivirus system we call our biological cell they have their own inbuilt immunity system sometimes we refer innate or adaptive immunity so that is also very interesting comparison and similarities between the two units now my dear friend another very important aspect sometimes we use the word computer is defective oh yes biological cell is also defective like you no know, disease condition the disease condition to any organism is due to the defect in their own cell system cell as a unit another very important point is sometimes we use okay computer is abnormal you know something is not working in a right direction so our cell is also sometimes turn into abnormal or you know they are not interested to obey the instruction or the command what is given to the system and sometimes like you know cancer cell itself is one of the example where the instructions that is given to the system whether computer or uh, i mean as a biological cell is not fully complied and then it turns into the cancer cell okay friend another very important point is and the last point in all the comparison and the similarities between the computer and biological cell an obvious question is raised then what makes the difference between the computer system or computer and the biological cell what i think you know that most too important there are many more uh, reasons can be two most obvious reason what i think the that is first one is the biological cell they have their own power of self copy creation reproduction power that one organism can create in, can be created into the another organism computer system right now all the ai enabled technology they do not have the power of self copy and self reproduction one aspect and second most important distinctive feature between the biological cell and computer what i can see even the power of self death and self destruction our biological cell we know that it is as per the nature or you can see it is a blessing by the nature itself 
that cell has the power to go for programmed cell death or self death destruction. But computer, at least all the AI technologies, I'm not sure whether the computer systems are enabled with the self death or self destruction. And I see in future, once the computer system means any AI enabled system will be equipped with these two qualities of the biological cell, that will be outstanding. And I do not see any reason in future that computer will be equipped with, not fully, but partially these two properties, that is self-copy and self-destruction. Thank you very much. And I'm sure that, you know, that will help you, you know, to the beginner student, those are in biological science to understand these two very buzzword in 2020, that is computer and biological. Thank you very much for watching this particular.